unbelievably great album. I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. I like having fun. Yes, I like it to laugh. I like having fun to meet people who laugh. Hello? You're hungry, aren't you? Are we here? Is this happening? Yeah, we're live. We're live on the air, Neil. Oh, boy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Uh, This is Office Hours Live. (coughs) And, of course, Tim Heidecker's not here today. He's in Fiji, actually. Did he tell you guys that he was in Fiji? I don't know. I didn't know about that. I have an inside source at CBS who told me that Tim is actually a contestant on the new season of Survivor, and he's on an island in Fiji competing. And it's a 26-day 26 uh, 26 show, so if he's back next week, you know he was voted off the island. If I'm here next week, you know he's doing pretty well. So keep an eye on that, and congratulations in advance, Tim, if you advance to the, the final two. Good luck. The final three. I don't know how the show works. This, uh, is, this is regular Survivor, not Celebrity Survivor? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe it's somewhere <laughs> in between. Uh, but anyway, he's not supposed to say anything about it. And, of course, if he wins, uh, that would violate. They, they have a sort of a non-disclosure agreement. He's not even supposed to say he's on. But I found out about it, and I didn't sign any agreement. So uh, that's the scoop for this morning. Um, we've got a wonderful show. Wonderful, wonderful Uh, as my mentor Lawrence Welk used to say, uh, because we have the wonderful, wonderful Dr. Demento in the house. Woo! 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 Wind up your radio! That is a real feather in our cap to have you here. Thank you very much, Dr. for uh, making the trip out here. And uh, and later we've got a musical uh, guest and ensemble, actually the largest group to have performed in this room, uh, since Blood, Sweat, and Tears did back in 1970. Uh, dengue right. Fever is here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. You guys have all these sound effects. Why aren't we hearing applause well, I, I after was waiting each to of the... I, I have my the... horn lined up because I wanted to say, Good horning! <laughs> Uh, So one thing I wanted to mention, it's been in the news. This is actually national news. This was the biggest story of the last week is that uh, uh, in in, in international headlines, Dave Grohl was cooking uh, barbecue for people again. And every time he does, somehow this ends up as the top story. Uh, He was cooking barbecue for the homeless on Super Bowl Sunday. The thing is, I actually have some associates who are, are street winos, uh, who <laughs> got some of his barbecue, and they said it wasn't very good. <laughs> they said uh, he should just get some food from Subway or something, because the barbecue sauce is is sour. Uh, well, bad ingredients. I don't know if what he's using. The tomatoes have gone bad. Maybe he's getting old tomato sauce to make the... Uh, or bad bourbon sometimes can ruin... <laughs> A barbecue sauce if you use the store brand. I like food. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we've got Dr. Demento here. Woo! And uh, I got a lot of questions, and these guys have some questions too. And then, of course, we've got questions from our, what they used to call callers. Now they call Zoomers, which is, <laughs> I don't like it. Rest oh, on. Johnny Cash. But they're Zoomers, and they do, they, uh, we've got questions. We want to get into that. I got a, I got a question for you right now. We decided... Uh, that in honor of the FCC restrictions that you were under when you started your radio show back in the early 1970s, Mm -hmm. uh, of course, a lot of the wonderful songs that you would play, these novelty and and just outright bizarre songs, 
Uh, there are plenty of them that did have some obscenities and things that had to be bleeped out or the songs just couldn't be played. Oh, yes. So in respect to that, we're going to keep it clean ourselves uh, today on the show, which is not the usual. Oh, so. I thought we this is our <laughs> chance to finally swear. Well, I mean, that makes more sense, doesn't it? But no, Listen, uh, I'm keeping it clean, which I don't usually do. But I realize we're not under FCC control. Uh, what was the saltiest song that you ever played uh, on your radio program? The saltiest song? The saltiest, which is a G-rated <laughs> version of saying the filthiest. <laughs> oh, well, uh, shaving cream was the most famous one. That's pretty salty. Yes. Although you only have a couple, you, a couple letters are missing. The last couple of letters uh, being removed from the, the punchline. Yes. Does, does bring it down to the PG level, yes. I yeah. would say. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a suggestive song. The rhyme scheme leads you to believe that certain words are going to be said, which are never actually sung. And I like that. That's kind of like... Uh, the whole world of uh, uh, people in bathing suits yes. uh, versus the, some of the hardcore pornography that, that <laughs> right. these guys are into. <laughs> right, <know>? yeah. <laughs> so it's All audio right. bathing suits, yes. This is a fidget spinner, by the way, if you guys haven't seen one. Uh, I've got a question for you. 1975, Yes. you were a guest on the Lily Tomlin TV special oh, with Richard yes. Dreyfus yes. and Benji the dog. Yes. Two, two questions. The, I can't find the show anywhere. Seems to have been lost to posterity. <laughs> what, what did you do on the show? And then question two, did you meet Benji the dog? Yes, I met Benji. Wow. Yeah. Did you get a paw print? No. <laughs> <laughs> What was the show? What exactly happened on that show? Uh, well, we sang a we sang a couple of songs. Okay. Lily and Lily and I. Really? Yes. Not not shaving cream. No. Uh, did, what songs? Do you remember? Uh, it was something from Gilbert and Sullivan, I think. Wow. Oh. Okay. No. Somebody out there find this tape so that I may see it and contact me uh, at a PO box that uh, to be disclosed later. Yes. You don't still have the, the old uh, the old address in Culver City, do you? No. I love the we, sound we of your voice. We moved to Lakewood. Lakewood. Well, yeah. that's also prestigious. Yes. But there was something about the way that you said Culver City that always oh, stuck yes. with me as a, as a said child. It many times. Many times. Yeah. What do you think you've said more, Weird Al Yankovic or Culver City? Oh, Weird Al. Weird Al. Yeah. Probably the most played uh, uh, act oh, on the far. show. But of course, you discovered him. I discovered him, yes. Was he as kind and sweet of a person as a teenager as he is today? Yes. Yeah, I figured. Yes. He's always been that way. And what did you think of the film? The uh, the recent biopic? Oh, weird. Yeah. yeah. It was weird. The guy I, that I, played you? I didn't you? like the ending, especially, because he dies at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but other than that, it was great. Yeah. Oh, how weird is that? That was sad. <laughs> that was sad. How did you like the guy who played you? Oh, fine. Yeah, Rain Wilson. Did you talk to him ahead of time and tell him what not to no, do? No, I did not. No, really? But my manager did. Okay, okay. Um... We've actually got uh, some Zoomers with some questions, maybe better questions than I have. I, could, I could ask oh, you Vic's got a question. Vic like, is a big fan. And yeah, of course. You, you connected uh, Weird Al to John Bermuda Schwartz, right? He, yes. They were separate fans, yes. right? And then they kind of came together on your show. Yeah. Yeah, they both happened to be booked the same night to be guests on my live radio show on KMET. Los Angeles. Is that the same night that you that they recorded My Bologna? No. The, the, not the very first night? No. Okay. No, uh, My Bologna actually came first, uh, but but that was the night that they did Another One Rides the Bus. I'm sorry, Another One Rides the Bus. Yes. That's, that's what I meant. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay, and he had the suitcase and everything for that. Yes. That's cool. Very cool. Big moment. Yeah, that was the suitcase that Al carries his accordion. Right, in. right. And since, since there were no drums in the studio, he banged on the recording case. The coolest. In perfect time, of course. Right, right. Are you still discovering um, new artists? Oh, yeah. 
In fact, uh, there, there's a, a group called the Wolves of Glendale. Ooh, I've heard about re- them. Real big actually. now on my throat. Are they from Glendale or are they yes, from a different they're, Glendale? They're from Glendale. This Glendale? This Glendale. Oh. Get uh, well, I'm looking to be discovered, so <laughs> yeah, I, right. I, I kind of want to get discovered, so maybe later in the show I could play you some novelty songs I made. Yeah, he wrote right. some just to yeah. try to appeal to you. Uh, wrote some songs. We'll see how they yeah, are. Yeah, we'll get to those a little yeah. later. But um, if you want to listen, I have a couple demos. That, you know, I could. This is my big shot. So, here's my question: Is in yeah. Lakewood, if yeah. I were to go to the Goodwill or the Salvation Army there, would I find hundreds of unfunny <laughs> novelty records that people have sent you that you had? trucked out of your uh, your studio and d- dropped off No, there? I, I still have most of them. Most of them? But yes. I want to know about the ones that just really stunk oh. it up. Do you keep them anyway? No. No, okay. So that's 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 the thrift store we need to go to later right. today. Yeah. Of course, now most the of them come as MP3s now. Oh, oh man. Nope. That's not as fun, is it? How many nope. records do you think you have? Oh, it's well into uh, into five figures. It, it was into six figures. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. What happened? You got rid of the Peter Frampton and Foghat <laughs> records? Uh, some of them, yeah. yeah. Wow. Are the floor is the are the floorboards cracking or is, is no, it sinking? No, my my garage, my former garage where I keep my records, uh, is on a concrete slab. Oh, okay. When I was... learned learned my lesson from the previous house. It sunk. Yes. It sunk. It did. How did you go about convincing your wife that it was okay to have records everywhere? Because I'm working on that now. I'm trying to <laughs> figure that out. Well, I, I had many, a great many records when I first met her. So if she was going to like me, she was going to like the records All too. Right. I like it. I'll let my wife go. Good. She doesn't work. <laughs> you want to talk? You want to take a, a I got. A, I have a question yeah, before we get into yes, that. Yeah. You've got the beard that's part of your trademark look. Yes. And you also have played the song Shaving Cream so many times on the show. I figure you've worn out copies of the record. So which have you purchased or acquired more of in the last 50 years? Cans of shaving cream or copies of the record shaving oh, cream? Copies of the record. Okay. I've never used shaving cream in my life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How did you go about finding Benny Bell? Because you had him perform on uh, on your one of your anniversary shows. Yeah, well, uh, I, I mean, I, I I knew about him from from the records that he made. The going back to nineteen the mid nineteen thirties when he began recording. So I, I had a lot of his records, but when when I got on the air in New York City where Benny was living. Uh, uh, I, 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 some, somebody in New York put us together. Okay. Yeah. Who is smoking here? <laughs> What's the, Ooh, it, what? with all these guys that have been, that uh, you've sort of made into celebrities, minor celebrities or, or novelty music celebrities, um, I'm assuming some of them haven't been able to make a living strictly on these songs. Oh, what, yeah. What is the oddest day job, the strangest day job that one of these, uh, uh, Doctor oh, Demento I, celebrities. I don't has. really know. What they, they don't are. tell you. <laughs> they well, don't most t- of the time. Right, right. We've well, got. I mean, some are. So, there, there's several school teachers. There's a, a lawyer or two. There's a, a couple of doctors, a dentist. No grave diggers. Not that I know of. Mm-hmm. I hope that you. <laughs> Is that a grave digging sound? I hope that you realize that I love to suck eggs from my head down to my legs. <laughs> All right. That was one of them. He... Do you know the name of this artist? I can't hear it. Oh, that's the Pipkins. Very good. There we go. <laughs> What was yes. the deal with them? Do you know much about the Pipkins? Oh, it was a bunch of uh, British cats who, mm-hmm. who performed under various different names. Okay. Yeah. Tony, was it Tony? Who was his name? I have to look it up. But he's the guy that sang Gimme That Ding <laughs> recorded a bunch of hits. I'll look it up for you right now. Yeah. So I'll get to that. This I'll is the most up. inside baseball, oh, I know. esoteric well, conversation <laughs> we've ever had. There's a lot of Pipkins like. fans out there. So. Um Maybe we should go to one of these Zoomers. Yes. Let's see what they have to say if their questions are 
It's another deep cut kind of quality. question, but I find it interesting. Brian Benelli, an old friend of ours with a wonderful Hi, mustache. hi. Um, yeah, this is a question for Dr. Demento. Um, I know you are you were a fan, not a fan, a friend of the legendary guitar player, John Fahey. Oh, yeah. And you, and you even uh, produced uh, one of my favorite albums by him. I was just curious, how did you uh, meet Mr. Fahey and how did you come about uh, producing him? Well, when I was in college, I uh, heard a couple of his albums and uh, then we somehow wound up uh, it, uh, both going to grad school at UCLA, and that's when I got to know John. We, we each got a master's degree in folk music studies. That's a good question. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, and uh, we, we wound up living, uh, by pure chance, we wound up living next door to each other in Venice, California. So we got to know each other considerably better then. Did you live in Venice in the 60s? Yes. Did you know like Jim Morrison and the, or any of those other Venice types back then? Not personally, but I certainly was aware of them. You might have seen him stumbling down the street. I might have. Drunk and yeah. stupid. <laughs> Reason I, to stay I indoors. think he lived more on the, the beach side of Venice. I lived a little bit on the in, inland side. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, well, thank Brian. You, Ryan. Great question. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, real quick, the "Gimme That Ding" was sung by Tony Burroughs, who also oh, sang. Yes. Right. Uh, Love grows where my rosemary grows. Oh, yeah. uh, Beach baby, my baby loves loving. Yeah. Next question. So, <laughs> I'm curious about that guy because he's like every song he puts out is under under a different band, big mm -hmm. band or whatever. So he's nuts. He's crazy. <laughs> Made a lot of hits though. What else we got from our Zooming people? These guys are oh, yeah. slobs. There's a, don't... There's a full, full house today. Tiare, do you have a question for the doctor? Am I saying that right? Uh, you have to unmute from your side. Tiare? Sorry. There sorry, sorry. Hello, hello. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, my question is for Dr. Demento and Neil, if you want to answer it. No. Um, what's your favorite... <laughs> What's your favorite Sparks record? And um, did you ever meet the Sweeties? The, the who? The Sweeties? No. They had this like, oh. <laughs> and what's your favorite Sparks record? Oh. Huh. Here you go, my sweetie. I draw a blank. <laughs> I, I, I know, I, I, I like Sparks, but, but they- and You had, them on, their, you had yeah. them on your show, right? Yeah, yeah, a long time ago, yes. Oh. Most of their music is, is kind of borderline dementia. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sparks. They're, they're brilliant. Yeah, they, they did one called, they did a, a song called Minnie Mouse, didn't they? Yeah, Mickey Mouse, too. Yeah. Aren't they on like SNL? Like, Ron did like a whole thing about like mice with Danny DeVito. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. They worked, uh, they worked blue Sparks with Dick deal? Around, too. Oh man. <laughs> I like introducing Sparks. That's a good that one. That one's good. That one's great. That one's the the punk response record. That was great. This well, show has generally been anti Sparks, but we're gonna change that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well Matt yeah, took us to see Sparks. I thought Tim would like Sparks. <laughs> I thought Tim would like Sparks. That oh was well, he does he your does. bet would lose. And, <laughs> and I don't I I was I went in with an open mind and then we like, all right, let's go after three <laughs> Yeah, they lost the gang with balls. Oh. But it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was, balls. Balls was the balls took the bridge too far for the they're great. They're, great well, they're they've always been acts through the history of you music dick. that did a few really funny songs, and then others that were still great but not not as funny. <laughs> I was like that they're very cheerful, but their lyrics are like incredibly dark. Yes. At yeah. contrast, I was like that about them. Never wrong, but I'm more of a fish heads guy. <laughs> Fish heads, yes. That's that's my number the one all time on most show? requested song. Fish heads is the number one all time re requested song, huh? Yes. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. Barnes and Barnes. Yeah. Now, interesting fact I learned uh, researching this episode was one of the bar one of the guys who made that song is uh, Will Robinson from Lost in Space. Oh, Bill Moomy. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Bill Mooney. Yeah. Right, he's around. The I've, I've I see him around the town. You're not going to stump the doctor. We'll get yeah. him in here. Yeah, if Tim's still on Survivor Island, let's get <laughs> Billy Mooney in. Yeah, the, the other half of Barnes and Barnes, Robert Hamer, passed away last year, but uh, Bill mm. Mooney is still very much with us. Good. Great to hear. All right. Thanks, Tiari. I got a question. Who do you think is the better vocalist? Telly Savalas or Leonard Nimoy? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Nimoy. Nimoy? Yeah. Quick answer. One, Neither of them two, would three. probably be on, on my list of top singers of all time if they hadn't been associated with other things that are within the realm of dementia. Oh, Fair I'm enough. You. I know you played both of them. Yes. Of course, uh, Telly Savalas actually had a chart hit Yeah, yeah he Australia. was kind of a one-hit wonder. One-hit wonder musically, but acting-wise, yeah, yes. hit after hit after hit, if yes. you've ever seen sure. Kojak or some of those Twilight mm -hmm. Zone episodes. That, we love Telly here. That, Vic shaved his head on <laughs> Telly's birthday <laughs> last year. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's hear from another Zoomer. We've got right. some uh, trivia questions, oh, too. Yeah. I don't know when we want to line those thing up. Yeah, in the city up. of the day, we oh, got to get to that. Oh, city of the day. Oh, want to let's, um, let's take a phone caller on yeah, the hotline. Phone call. Okay. Hotline. Let's see. We, have, we have both video calls and phone calls on this show, Dr. Demento. So, uh, 210, you're live on the air. 210. Caller. Hello. Hello. Hi. You're on the air. Don't waste Hi. our time. Sorry about that. So um, here's my question for you. Or my pet peeve at concerts, I was wondering if you feel the same way. You get stage direction from the guy, the singer. Put your hands up. Everybody stand up. How do you feel when you, when you get, when, when someone's telling you, mandating what you do at a show? that you paid good money for. <laughs> I don't especially like it, though it, it's, it's part of getting the crowd involved. I, I, I accept it. I say when they, when they tell me to put my hands up, I have them arrested for <laughs> they're trying to, you know, uh, rob me. They're trying to yes. rob me. I'll have to cop. remember that. Yeah, I have them arrested. Yes. What about you, Neil? It's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis if it's... Uh, it, a singer such as Tom Jones asks me to do that, I will do it. Uh, but if it's one of these slovenly uh, uh, modern type of bands, I'm probably just going to walk out the door. That wasn't nice. I might walk out the door here if, you, if we get that going on. Well, well, that's an interesting question. I know we can do better. <laughs> That happened. I, I was at a show recently that happened. I did not like that. I'm like, guess I got to do this now. Do another hotline. And then people do it for like 10 seconds and they're like, okay, is that enough? They stop. Can we do a check Thanks another hotliner? Hot sure. Um, Seth. Seth, you're on the hotline. You got to give him some space, guys. <laughs> Come here, baby. Seth. Seth. I like when people Hello? tell me to put my feet in Hello? the air and we, everyone does a handstand. Seth. At the gymnastics hey, this is concert. Seth. Yes, Seth Hi, here. Seth. Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's, Hi, uh, Seth. it's nice to be here. Uh, hey, Dr. Demento, I never thought that I'd talk to you on the phone. This is uh, bizarre. All right. I'm working right now, so I can't watch. So it's I can't a little bizarre for me, too, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Are you working in a mine, Seth? What is. Uh, uh, no, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually I'm on top of a mountain in a um, in a boom lift, applying uh, like weather stripping to a house. <laughs> okay, what's the question? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh well, okay. So since Dr. Demento is here, I did have some other stuff that I wanted to ask. Uh, uh, I've had prying questions for for Doug and Vic, um, but um, since since the doctor is here and. Uh, and everything. What's your question? What, uh, <laughs> my question, okay, I want to know everybody's favorite deep cut Weird Al song. Deep cut Weird Al song. Weird Al Oh, mine is uh, Taco yeah, deep, deep Grande. Cut. 
Easy. Oh wow. I think uh, <laughs> I think uh Melanie might be my favorite. Melanie. Uh that's a yeah. Why won't you yeah, go out a, with me? Yeah. Uh, I love the tragic ending. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I like one yeah. more minute. Oh, that's an amazing oh, that's one. Oh, that's, yes. What is oh, the yeah, what is the song you've played the most of his on the on the show? Oh, uh, eat it, I suppose, because it was uh, his first really big hit. I saw so, uh, when I was a child. Saw you guys in uh, in in Arizona. Oh, it was a, it was the touring Doctor Demento show. It was yes. 1981 or something like that, and and Weird Al was there. And yes, you were there and play. It was wonderful. I mean, yeah. It was a, Great night. Yeah, that was a, b a big night for Al, too. Yeah? Yeah. It seemed uh, very early yes. in his career. Right. Yeah. Would Thanks, you, Seth. Uh, good it, question. That, uh, that, it was still billed as Dr. <laughs> Demento plus Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, special. Uh, the, <laughs> the, billing, the billing got reversed later. Mm. And would you consider Alan Alda regular Al? <laughs> would I, I what? Would you consider Alan Alda... A regular oh. owl, as, no. as opposed to a weird owl. <laughs> no. I guess, well, I guess so, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any other callers, or should we do City of the Day? I, I, I'm ready for City of the City Day. Of Are you ready, day? Neil? Yeah, sure. Hold on to your hat, Dr. Demento. This is going to be fun stuff. <laughs> City of the Day. Can you scroll down to read the ad there, Neil? Yeah, I suppose I should. I should. <laughs> <laughs> uh, City of the Day is sponsored by... Well, sponsored today by uh, Grandma Glenn's Great Grapes. These are homemade grapes. Uh, Grandma Glenn runs a tight ship. No dust or mites in her rugs. So why should, we lo why should she lower her standards when it comes to feeding her grandchildren fruit? Store-bought grapes grow on vines outside, and dirt and dust can settle on the grapes, not to mention manure and smog residue. Grandma Glenn developed a recipe for homemade grapes, and now she is making them for the whole world. No need to worry about the Onicoccus oni, a bacteria found in deadly vine-grown grapes. Grandma Glenn's homemade grapes are made with just three ingredients, powder, water, and homemade grape skins. And we're sorry, Mr. Kroger, these grapes are mail order only. And I have, uh, I have a little jingle that, uh, Wow. Did you play that for Grandma Glenn? <laughs> she hired me to produce that song. Uh, she's uh, doing homemade peaches next, I hear. Uh, Michael, can you can you share with Neil the city of the day? Hi, yeah, uh, city of the day, Lincoln, Nebraska, y'all. Okay. Why is that? Because it's great. Oh, there's. <laughs> Are you born and raised in Lincoln? I am. And what do you do there? Uh, I'm a <clears throat> photographer, and um, I work at Whole Foods. <laughs> Why should I move to Lincoln, Nebraska? Because uh, it's cheap. You can live here. That's actually and, good. Uh, good description. There's houses. Is it cheaper than <laughs> Omaha? Yeah, yeah. Omaha's nice, though, too. Which one is Henry Fonda from? I think Omaha, maybe. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> We're going to send you a case of Grandma Glenn's great grapes <laughs> and a test okay. peach. If they're not not perfected yet, but she'll put one in the box for you. Let us know how you like it. I love Granny Grapes. Send them my way. Okay. Um, well, maybe now's the time I could demo some of my... Uh, yes, Dr. Doug here is Thanks, a Michael. budding songwriter, oh. musician, and he... 
uh, rose to the occasion to create some uh, new songs that, that wanted to get your approval. Oh, sure. Uh, for if you don't like them, that's fine. Uh, most people don't. But, but I, I, I have, since you're here, this is my shot. This know. is his shot. So it, there's three of them. There's which, three of them. Which yeah, these first. are just demos. These are shorter versions. So if there's any, if any of these you think have a chance of being good, I could make longer versions, you know, for the show. But uh, this first one's called Snot Nose Brat. Let's check it out. I'm a snot nose brat. I'll slam the door. I'll do what I want and smear peanut butter on the floor. And I will chew my gum and stick out my tongue. If you tell me no, I will have a temper tantrum. Can't tell me what to do. You smell like poo. Better give me all the toys I want or I'll bring a gun to school. I'm a snot nose brat. <laughs> That's not nose brat. You want to hear that's, that's his first yeah, one. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to hear the full length version sometime. Oh, oh, see oh that? wow. See that? Okay. Uh, this one's called Crabs at Vaughn's. Or it's called I Got Crabs at Vaughn's. This was a title somebody suggested to me. I won't play this whole one, it's too long. goes on and on. Mm. That's pretty much it. I, I wonder if uh, uh, Vons has good lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> that might be libelous. Well, <laughs> Unless you they, sell crab. they sell crab there, so it's a double entendre, perhaps. Yes. Yeah. That kind right. of sounded like Sparks, actually. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'll sell it to them. Uh. Okay, the final one is called uh, Pete the Hiccuping Freak. At school was a boy named Pete. He was tall and smart and neat. He was extra fun to play with and had dimples in his cheek. But when the teacher asked him a question, he got nervous and couldn't speak. All he could do was... <laughs> like a geeked out, freaked out, tweaked out, nervous, total hiccuping freak. And he sounded like this. <laughs> I mean, my dream it? is to have a one-hit wonder song and be on the charts, though, you know. I don't know if these have the, what it takes to be on the charts, but... I, I think the first one has definitely possibilities. Oh, oh there you go. No, it's Brad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well... Finish it up. I'll finish the first one up. Yes. And the, maybe the B-side could be... Uh, I'll the, make a new the, one for the The third one. The third one. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Crabs at Vaughn's. Doesn't maybe have what it takes. A, That'll be maybe that's the seaside. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm really into the hiccups one. I was reading about Charles Osborne. He had hiccups for 68 years. Wait, like, what? He did. It just like Who? There's nothing. Charles Osborne from 1922 to 90. He Who's had Charles hiccups. Osborne. Just a guy. Ozzy's dad. Yeah, <laughs> just a guy that had hiccups for a long time. Where were you reading this? Just I just found it online. I was reading about hiccups, and that was the, the world record for longest amount of hiccups. You know, Michael Jackson had hiccups. He's always going, ah! <laughs> in his songs. It's not really worth it to get that plaque saying that you have that world's <laughs> record, is it? You don't want to be reminded of it. Um, we've got also some trivia questions, which I feel are it's very likely you will know the answer, but these guys won't. And... Yeah. Uh, well, I, I don't normally deal in trivia because it's trivial. I prefer, <laughs> I prefer to deal in monumental things. Well, then you might want to plug your ears because this <laughs> stuff's pretty, pretty darn, notice I said darn, uh, trivial. 
But uh, here we go. Uh, of course, Fish Heads being uh, the preeminent hit of your radio mm -hmm. show for many, many decades. My question to these guys, perhaps you know this already, is which country invented the dish fish head curry? We've got four choices. A, Finland. B, Pakistan. C, Singapore. Or D, Iceland. Don't look it up, Vic. Oh, no, I'm not. I already... I'm not... Play, I think Matt's playing. I Wait, think. I, um, are we playing too? I already know. You guys, the, you guys are, are playing. Yeah. Already, oh, I don't know the answer. Oh, I do know the answer. So I was getting Fish my head curry. Away. Sorry about that. Can I have the the countries again? Yeah, the countries are Finland, Pakistan, Singapore, and Iceland. I'm gonna say it's one of those northern ones, probably Finland or Iceland. Let's go. Let's go, Finn. Finland. But would you put the the correct one as the first one? Hmm. Well, that's not how trivia works. You, you I'm going to go with it. I'm sticking with, I'm sticking with it. You can't have a trivia contest and refuse to have the first. Because they eat fin that stinky fish that makes people barf. Right. The fins do like Now I fish. feel like I'm wrong. You want to you bring in a Zoomer to help? Yeah, let's see what those guys I think say. you'll get but a they, kick they, out of this They one. might be looking Yeah, let's up. bring a Zoomer in. Duck, you want to help everybody out here? Oh, I, I guess Finland, too. Fin okay, two for uh, Finland. Well, now I no. want to change my answer to just hedge my bets. Oh my! I think the doctor will get no, the deck. The duck is, duck is here. Huh? Oh my gosh! Uh, I can never tell when I'm on. That's the hard thing about this. But hello, hello, Doctor Demento. Hello. Hi. Um, hello, strange thank looking bird. <laughs> <laughs> this is our uh, old friend that's Duck. A, that's a compliment, and I appreciate you and your love for weirdness and. Um, I drew you, actually. Well, my Whoa. Oh, 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 that's cool. Wow. Look well, at that's, that. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's recognizably me. Yeah. I like it. Wow. Yeah, it's like you've you've entered my world now, and um, I, I hope you like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> ah. um, so, uh, what is my finger that, on there? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you should press that button. <laughs> it's a tape player. Oh my God! Do you get sent tapes anymore? Once in a while, I still get a tape. What? Is he pitching his own novelty songs here? Really? Is that what's going on? I don't know, Duck. What happened to the fish head curry question, Wait, Duck? Duck, duck before we're we gonna get to have the question, duck head curry. Um, if you yeah. don't, uh, are you? What, what are the songs uh, on the tape player there? What are the songs? Yes. I made them. Oh, you made your own novelty songs too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's demo. I, yeah, I love yeah. the I love the hiss of tape. Uh -huh. Do you do you miss the hiss of tape, Doctor Domino? Uh, no. <laughs> do you like the hiss of snakes? Uh, <laughs> um, do you like the hiss of you, a crowd booing? Uh, well, it depends no. on what they're booing. All right, let's. Uh, what, um, which, maybe we should get to your answer. Yeah, you. Thank you. you. I do kind of want to hear on the show now. under yeah. false pretenses, Mr. <clears throat> Duck. Yeah. <laughs> We need an answer. You to could have this. just called and said, "Hey, I have some." Moments. Oh my God! I wasn't paying attention for a second. What did I miss? Is Which it trivia? Country invented the dish, fish head curry. Oh. Um, and I, did you hear our options? Uh, Singapore. All right, that's a good guess. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna change. I I think since it's curry, they don't they don't have curry in Finland or Iceland. They have curry everywhere. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, so we, we have two Finlands, a, a Singapore. Can I switch mine to Pakistan? Oh, switch it. So one Pakistan, yeah. two Finlands, and a Singapore? All right, let's get to the answer. <laughs> it's Singapore. It's Singapore. They invented it, and they're still serving it today. What? Go to a Singaporean restaurant and try it for yourself if you want. Uh, all right, next question. Oh, my gosh. Duck. I can't uh, believe it. You can't believe that? He said it. I, I can't believe it. I got it right. Oh. Duck said it. Duck, go away. 
That was pathetic. You want a new, you want a new player like, for the next round, Neil? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 it's, no, we'll keep this duck. It's These interesting. Guys I like are slobs. You know, oh, 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 nice to meet you, Neil. Thanks. I can't tell when I'm on. It's, it's, I don't have a visual monitor, so I can't tell when I'm on. Okay. When people see me, I can't tell. You're better than that. Uh, you are on the air, Doug. Next question. Next question. Thank you. There is a database that uh, documents every song you've ever played on every episode of your radio show. It oh, is yes. an invaluable database. Yeah, it's called the DM, DMDB, DM Demetic Music Database. DB.org, I think. Mm. Yes. Yes. Everybody needs to visit this database and look and see what's been played. One question I have, maybe you'll know the answer, maybe not. These guys definitely won't. According to the DMDB, which of these artists has never been played on the Dr. Demento show? Never. We've got four choices. One, or A, Gary Glitter. B, Judy Garland. C, Black Flag. D, a C D C E Weird Al Yankovic. Who has never been played on the show? I'm gonna say hmm, it's probably one that you would least expect. Like you would probably think Judy Garland wouldn't be on the show, but maybe she was, you know? And Black Flag, why would they be on? Well, they had that song TV Party. Maybe something like that was on there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Glitter. Gary Glitter. Vic? I'm going Glitter. All the way Glitter. Doctor? I guess it was Glitter, too. Well, you've got inside information. Duck? Glitter. Yeah, yeah, it was Gary Glitter. Never played on the show and certainly won't be played now due to some of the legal issues that he's been involved with. What's your favorite Gary Glitter album, Neil? I don't like any of them. <laughs> I would say the one that uh, where somebody taped over it was something that I liked. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, we have another trivia question regarding the song Shaving Cream. Of course, the doctor will know the answer to this very, very well, but these guys might or might not, or maybe this duck might not know either. In the song Shaving Cream, what does the old lady die from? Now, here's your choices. A, by a bus she was hit. B, a terrible fit. C, by a rat she was bit. Or D, read her obit. I just listened to this song like four times in the last few days, but I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, it's just like an extra verse that's not in the. Uh... Can I call? <laughs> Can I get a, a call? Call help? Uh, oh, you want you got a lifeline. It, uh, lifeline, do you know which one it was? Damn it. <laughs> you used your lifeline. <laughs> I'm going um, rat a rat she was bit. If I I'm going with bus. Bus. I'm going bus. I'm gonna go oh bit. Why not? J yeah. Just I for can, fun. I can play it if you guys want to. Yeah, play it. Right, here we go. I isolated the voice too, so it's kinda cool. The whole song? Or do you have the answer? And now folks, my story is ended. I think it is time I should quit. <laughs> If any of you feel offended, stick your head in a barrel of shaving cream. <laughs> Be nice and clean. Wait, was that it? That's, that's, that's the wrong verse. That's the wrong verse. That's not the right section. <laughs> I believe it's in the first verse. Sorry, right? sorry. Okay, well, let's try that again. Oops. <laughs> I have a sad story to tell you. It may hurt your feelings. It's not that verse either. <laughs> Last night when I walked her friend. Oh my God. Her antics are queer, I'll admit. Each time I say, darling, I love you. Try again. She tells me. 
<laughs> Our baby fell out of the window. You think that her head would no, be It's flipped. the old lady we're looking oh, for. <laughs> An old lady died there we go. of that time. There we go. There we go. She died from a terrible fit. Ah, there it is. Ah, uh, damn. Wait, none of us got terrible it right. Terrible fit. No rats, no bus. Darn. Just a fit. One, two, three. Right. No points. No, no points, points awarded. No points. And we got one last uh, trivia question oh, okay. for these guys. Of course, you will mm. know this one. Who wrote and recorded? The Dr. Demento radio show classic, Plexiglass Toilet. Was it A, Nervous Norvis? B, Weird Al Yankovic? C, Ogden Edsel? Or D, Styx? <laughs> Somebody has to answer it. Yeah. Let's go to a caller. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to say, could that be Dennis DeYoung singing? Maybe. That seems like that? Your, that? it seems like a trick question. And it's probably uh, sticks. You're always wow. going for the trick questions. What happened to okay, a world nervous where people noises. just I'll ask a question nervous. Nervous and it's noises. just a straight ahead answer? Nervous noises. What was the what was the Og Og name? Uh, Ogden Edsel. Ogden Edsel. I'll just throw that one out there. Ogden Edson. <laughs> What's the correct answer, sir? We've made a record in 72, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 81, 83. The answer? Uh, it sticks. It ah, sticks. See, you know what? They've been trying to live you, it down ever since. You would have just <laughs> let me go with my gut. Dang it. Uh, second guess it. Yeah. yeah. That well, was I think one we, of their I'm, best songs. We probably have time for maybe <laughs> one more call. Oh, and Dr. I wanted Demento. to um, show this to oh. the, the crowd. Oh, there this we is go. the D Dr. Demento uh, oh, covered yes. in punk. Yes. Now, this is a, a triple album Ooh. of songs by a, a lot of wonderful artists, everybody from William Shatner to Low Straight Jackets, uh, doing versions of songs uh, that were heard on your show. show or. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in a punk style. Wait, yes. in, in Shatner did cases. a punk song? Yeah, yes. uh, Shatner did Garbage Man. And I guess you'd, well, it, with Shatner, is it a punk style? It's hard to say. Oh, more or less. Uh, missing Persons. We've yes. got The Dead Milkmen, The Vandals, Osaka Pop Star, The Misfits, Weird Al Yankovic. They're all on this record. you got to get this record if yes. you don't have it already. Covered in punk.com or dementedpunk.com or Demented even punk. drdemento.com. Yes. And of course, there's a they'll, second they'll volume. There. There's a second volume yes. coming yes. Uh, it, sometime this year, we hope, yes. uh, featuring a lot of great artists. We can't give the names right. here, but uh, I could be one of them. I don't know. Uh, and that's coming later this year. Yes. Yes. I'm going to get you to sign my copy. Com. Yes, dementedpunk.com. Uh, covered in punk. Yes. Doctor, could I ask you, you uh, you always played clean records on the air. I yes. was wondering, what is the best solution you found to actually clean records? Like, like do you use some rubbing alcohol mixture? No, you, not alcohol. Not alcohol. Is that bad for the record? It, it, certain records it will okay. damage. What, would you, what do you normally use? Uh, just uh, Dawn. Oh, Don. Okay. Yeah. And some warm water. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's a great question because, like, uh, I most of my stuff comes from thrift stores and yes. it's a mess. You know what I mean? So. Oh, but you know. Oh, I wanted to ask how many uh, how many Pennsylvania uh, Dutch records do you have? Any? Do you have anything like this? Any comedy records like Professor Professor Schnitzel? I have one Professor. Schnitzel. Oh, you do? Yes. Would you like this one? Sure. Okay. There we go. I'll give that to you then. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, there's Thank I think you. like four professor professor schnitzels yeah. out there, all Very different nice colors. Type setting into, on yeah. the back cover. Too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, I don't have this one. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, the the doctor from does Lancaster need to. Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Yes. Yes. That's around. I'm from right around that area. Can I ask one more question? Yeah, I know. Uh, it's, two more. I know it's, uh, two more. I two more two, from okay. Vic. Okay. Okay. Two questions from Vic Berger. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask, like, why why you thought maybe there weren't more success, like, big success stories like Weird Al, and how was he able to cut through 
other than other people, other that were doing similar things? And why, why was he kind of propped up? Well, uh, he's a genius for yeah. one thing, and, and also he, he he he's never been afraid of rejection. Mm-hmm. He just goes ahead and no does fear. his thing. That's great. That's okay. a lesson Shoot. we all can that, learn from. Yes, exactly. And, and he's yeah. just very brilliant. Yeah. Because he actually like he graduated high school very young. He was like 15 or 16. He, he was a year. He yeah. skipped a, uh, yeah. a year. Okay. And one other question. Um, always like the early uh, Weird Al stuff. And uh, like and also on your show, you'd have musical Mike Kiefer. Yes. And he was like, as a kid, I was like, he was uh, sitting at the counter. And I think it was Eat It, or Eat It I believe. Or, or maybe I Love Rocky Road, I think it is. And ever since I saw that, it was a huge <laughs> moment for me realizing, oh, that's some dude, some guy with, with his hands. But then he disappeared 1984, 85 kind of from the scene, I believe. Oh, he's, he's is, still, where, very, is he? still very much with us. Is he? Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. I, I saw him just last weekend. Oh, great. Wow. Great. Okay. I Because I was trying to find him online, and there's not a, not a whole lot you know to, to learn about him. So I was just... Yeah, well, wondering where he is. So. Well, he prefers to just let his accomplishments yeah. stand on their own. Okay. All right, well, tell him I said thank you for all the I work. will, Thanks. yes. Okay. So get your boners ready. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, the clean show, folks. Clean show. <laughs> well, as I was saying, the, the doctor does need to get Corn. back to do his own show, so we, we do need to let him Where can people depart. listen to your show now that the whole radio world has collapsed? DrDemento.com. DrDemento.com. Yes. Everybody go and have a listen. You yeah, will D-R-D-E-M-E-N-T-O. be very pleased. D-R-D-E-M-E-N-T-O.com. Got it. Put that on the screen. Can we do that? Do we have that? Oh, yes. If we can get a talking duck, we can certainly put this web address on the screen. We can definitely do that. Check it out, drdemento.com. Oh, that's that's Dr. Demento. Yes. Oh, Doctor's in. Where's the dot Sound com? That is not to be ignored, you know. Well, it's, it's small up top. Yeah. <laughs> try to zoom in. Let's hear it. They get it. I see it. All right, man. Is there a certain uh, type of uh, record, a label, or something that you've collected and you collected them and then at the end, end of it you're like, why did I do that? Why did I collect all those? <laughs> no, I, I, I want a little of everything. Okay. okay. And a lot of some things. Okay, okay. Can I ask uh, one question real quick? What is your favorite uh, band or musical artist that's not a novelty act? Great question. Oh, or anything off, you know, anything, maybe not the number one, but any favorite that you might like. Oh, uh, Gary Glitter, John, John Fahey. Oh, mm. well, there you have it. As it's, discussed on Office Hours. Yeah, and, wow. and, uh, and, and, early, and Robert Johnson. Robert's the the blues, blues singer. was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's... Um... And uh, Charlie Poole, got to have a good old hillbilly singer in there. Oh, nice. Oh, I love that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and uh, who are tuning in, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, the, we've got Dengue Fever. They have to set up. We've got this giant band coming in, the biggest band hey, in the set? history of music uh, <laughs> is coming into this little room. And... Uh, it's happening in how many minutes? Well, Matt? do you want to take? We can take a we can take a Zoom and chat while they change over. If that's sure, okay let's with you. do that. Yeah, because then right. we'll do the break after they. Perform. So why don't we have um, the stu- the uh, control room come on in and help us with that changeover? And um, let's talk to. Thank you, Doctor Demento. Thank you, Doctor Demento. Yes. Everybody, this has thank been. You. Thank you, Doctor. A dream to get you on this show. Thanks for making the trip out from Lakewood. Oh, of course. Oh. This is Captain Matt here. <laughs> morning, Bob, Bobby, I think you had a, sounded like maybe a bone to pick. Is that what's going on? Hey, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a uh, hothead Zoom. Bobby. All right, Bobby. Bobby's on Zoom. Got? Can you get your finger right on the shut Bobby down button <laughs> in case I'm we ready. don't like what mute. he says? Because I'm thinking we <laughs> well, won't. Well, Neil, Neil, no, it's a, you're not the complaint. The show is great. I saw you in Brooklyn. Okay. Okay, but there was a uh, 
I loved your Mike Love material. There was a weird character at the um, merch booth. I was waiting in line to buy your merch because I want to get your album. It was this weird, like, movie freak. He was, like, talking to me about, like, um... <laughs> Thank you, Dr. It's like uh, Digby. Digby, the biggest dog. I don't know. He was, uh, he was just kind of harassing people about weird movies. Big... Okay. Was he part of Neil's I, I entourage, know. or was he just a guy that... I don't think... Just... The show was great. I like Major Entertainer. I love Neil's work. It was just he was like guarding the. Uh, well, the booth, you know we the, uh, can't control booth. who buys a ticket to the show <laughs> and who stands around and what well, they I talk about. Like we have no matter control over security. That. It probably well, was. I, We've had people thrown out. We actually had a, a, a young woman arrested at the at the merch booth recently uh, because she said that she had bought a CD and that it didn't work. That she put it in the player and it did nothing played. <laughs> Uh, she was very adamant that uh, oh. the CD didn't work. I felt that it was her player that didn't work. These guys uh, are We slob. were squabbling about it, and eventually the police were called, and she was taken away. And I believe she's still in jail uh, because she was un unable to come up with the bail because <laughs> Stop uh, it, her Vic. family doesn't like her. So that does happen. I don't know anything about what you're talking about in Brooklyn. That was a long, long, long knocks. time ago. But we've had people of all stripes, all walks of life at our merch booth, and uh, which is one of the reasons that uh, I've had to stop uh, appearing at the merch booth, and we've had a hologram that's been standing <laughs> in for me, as well as local vendors. So thank you, Bobby. Yeah, it's just, he looked a little bit like you, so I thought maybe you could have recognized him a little bit. You're but, barking um, up the wrong tree. Yeah, just maybe next time. You're barking time, up the wrong implement. tree. <laughs> Calling the police on that guy. Play some barking sounds. This Bobby's barking up the wrong tree. Sorry about that. Love the show otherwise. Just maybe up the security. Is that barking? This is barking. <laughs> that's, that's somebody are real throwing up into a toilet. That's not barking. <laughs> <sighs> Other than that, the, the album's great, though. All right. Well, I'm, 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 I'm glad, Bobby, that we managed to entertain you, although it seems that what you remembered more was some chance encounter at the merch booth than the actual <laughs> performance, and that's too bad. Okay. It's as these guys set up, let's take a call from somebody who isn't stuck on one tiny thing that they really <laughs> should have moved on from. Can we get somebody else on the line? Yeah. Who... who uh... <laughs> Who <laughs> let the dogs out? Uh, Billy and Jake. I think they had a more. Did you have a more reasonable, like respectful uh, question for Neil? Billy, I mean, you're just these guys Jake. are undermining so you. Billy and Jake. I want you here. Sorry, we're at work. So we gotta be kind of quiet. But great <laughs> show, Billy. All right, he's, he's gotta be quiet. What was your question, sir? So, uh, Neil, the first time I saw you was like 10, 12 years ago. You were playing here in Seattle with Tim and. I think uh, like Todd Berry, and he came out and you go, first thing he said was, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, or, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Steven Tyler has died. And this was before we had uh, phones and everything. And I remember the crowd just being totally shocked. And we're like, what? This was the first, my first introduction. But it was, it was brilliant. It was beautiful. I've been a fan ever since. I guess my question is, are you coming to Tim Fest in a few weeks? Yes, Doug, and myself, and Vic, all, the whole gang, and Matt, we're all going to be there. And of course, yeah. this is your chance to come to the merch booth and end up immortalized <laughs> in an anecdote like the one that the last guy uh, told. But yes, we'll be there. Steven Tyler, as it turns out, I was given bad information that night. Oh, yeah, yeah. He didn't die. I was given bad information the night after that, and the night after that, and it, he's still alive. So hopefully okay. that uh, doesn't hold. Uh, you talk about novelty songs like what Dr. Demento plays, but I think Stephen Tyler is the true <laughs> novelty uh, in that there's, he's awful, but the, but the songs live on. And so does he, so that's too bad. Anyway, see you at Tim Fest. Uh, yeah, we'll which is coming right. Is it Tim Fest sold out? I think it might be. Oh, yeah, it's sold out very yeah. quickly. So, so if you didn't get the... tickets, don't bother coming to Portland because you won't get in. We're going to have very Sounds tight good. security. There won't be any incidents. And one other uh, just comment. Doug, looking forward to the last pound house. See you coming out and enjoying those. 
<laughs> when, did, when does that happen? When's the, fi- the final episode? Ever? Oh, um, we're going to show the final episode tomorrow night at Cine Lounge in Hollywood. Unfortunately, it's sold out. But this isn't it, though. You're going to keep going. Yeah, it might right? be it. I don't know. Oh, we'll my see. God. I would oh, never now say they're quiet when they're talking. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's sold out. You say fortunately, it's sold out. <laughs> good point. Yeah, yeah. good point. Um, <clears throat> well, it looks like the band's all set up. Guy. Band is all set up. Our sound is all happening. You guys feeling good? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we would like to bring to our stage tonight, uh, today, the great Dengue Fever. <laughs> Ahora no, 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 eh, 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 eh. Bronk ka hamuy dal on chun po. Bronk ka hamuy dal on chun po.
Well, <laughs> folks, if you're uh, watching live, stick around. We'll be back in five minutes. Is that right, Matt? Correct. Is that what we're doing here? Correct. We'll be back with some more music. Uh, goodbye for now. Don't look <laughs>